Oh, nice. Oh, I'm Ben Pearson, and I'm a former police in Inception on Channel 5, and I am going to be looking at some TV and film car pursuit kind of things involving police. First of all, he's got some Wayfarers on. That's what I wear. So he's already top notch in my book. He's got some right skills, this lad, hasn't he? See, first thing first, when you, someone comes past you in a pursuit and you do a J-turn or you do an ambit turn, it's so hard to get up for speed. You're starting from literally nothing. When you do it, that car has got a massive, massive distance on you. That car's already traveling to 90 miles an hour. You think how many feet it's going per second. It's really, really hard to get back into a pursuit. So if you're having a pursuit at 70 miles an hour through town center as well, and he's doing handbrake turns, wrong side road as he's doing straight from an armed robbery, you're not going to be 10 foot from his rear bumper. You're going to be five foot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, nice. Oh. See, why don't, this is why I've always said this, why don't the police have the cars that the bandit driver has? Why don't the police have the cars that handle like they do? They've always got these big Fords or big ass Chevys or we have Signum. It's stinging out. Stinging out straight away in front of him, no defense. He won't behind anything, no hard cover. Uh, he's seen him come in, big no-no, and he stung a police car. Can I put a hand up everyone that stung a police car? Who drives in a V? If you're in a pursuit, who drives in it? It's not, you're not a load of geese. So I don't know about you lot, but it just makes me want to go out and buy a Subaru in red. When we were first on beat, when we had these Astras, they were like 51, 52 plate Astras. They were 1.6 petrols. They were all right for a beat car, but for playing handbrake turns were absolutely fantastic. We used to respond to stuff in Keith Town Centre and when it went all the direction, we used to just put the steering wheel and brake turn it. Big screeching noise all the way through like Keithley Town Centre and then back on ourselves. Obviously, look at it now and <laughs> you I've, got, I've got a question. Go on then. Why, why would you do a handbrake turn? You wouldn't. It's, it just doesn't do anything really. It's just basically for flash. I mean, we used to chase cars and they'd, they'd come to a corner and handbrake around the corner and you're like, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't make you go faster. It doesn't make you get away faster. It basically brings your car to nearly a halt. And then you've got to set off again where what you want to be doing is going around the corner at a smooth speed, just a consistent smooth speed, even like 25 miles an hour and pulling away. But an handbrake turn doesn't do anything apart from make you look good. But you sort of like, dull. if you're looking at it now, I must look like a right dick doing it. See, the thing is as well, it, it, I know it's only a film, it's all make-believe, but in real life we don't have this many police cars. It's just like they must have thousands upon thousands of police cars just sat there doing no. No one's pulling anyone over, no one's dealing with a bump, there's no nothing else going on apart from they're all just sat there wanting to respond to this armed robbery. What are they getting in now, a Prius? <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that, we're good for that. Oh yes, Batman. Black tank. So first of all, the thing with Batman is you're going to have to separate this from reality because we all know Batman really it does exist, along with Superman and everyone else that's in the superhero world. But like that, uh, Batmobile, we all know they come in different shapes and sizes. Everything about you and in a child wants to get in and drive and have a go. And yes, I would wear the cape and mask. If you could be a superhero and which superhero would you be, why would you be that superhero? It's either got to be Superman or it's got to be Batman. I mean, come on, look at all these toys he's got. He can do what he wants. He's a millionaire or a billionaire. Let's clear this up. At what point do you think chasing a man wearing a mask in a black rubber suit wearing a cape that jumps off buildings is a good idea? Just leave him, let him go. Just leave him alone. He's not doing nothing wrong. And why, why would you block him in? Do you think he has insurance for it as well? <laughs> think he's got a ring of Viva up. <laughs> what do you do for a job? Um, <laughs> jump off buildings wear a black rubber suit. <laughs> Have you got any accident claims or convictions in the last five years? <laughs> oh 
So you come on. It's getting a little bit far fetched now, isn't it? He's, he's been jumping from rooftop to rooftop in his six ton car, and he's just jumped from another rooftop onto the, the motorway, the freeway. His car's going to have bad track, and it's going to throw his wheels out of alignment there. Can you imagine pursuing one of these through Bradford City Centre? <laughs> Personally, I think I'd avoid when he's gone off top of a building <laughs> and he's driven into everything and destroyed everything he can get his hands on. Why he's still pursuing is beyond me, but I know it's a, a, a film, but I'd, 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 I'd want his autograph. I'd want a photo with him. I want to lock him up. What are you, what are you looking at Batman for? Can you imagine taking him from a custody sergeant? Sergeant, I'm here with this man because he's uh, destroyed half a, half a Gotham. Do you understand your rights? I do. And have you noticed in films, all cars are staggered on motorway like that and the car chase just goes like that through them all. Don't happen like that into the lane. Right. I just, we've had this hundreds of times. The amount of cars we pursue and then they go lights out doesn't give you instant, you're off radar. It just shows your car on a road with lights out. So because you're still in a white car or a black car or a red car and you turn your lights off, we can still see you. You don't blend into darkness like Batman does in Batmobile. It's not real. See, I think he actually needs to go to spec service as well, because he's literally just crashing into everything that's out and about, and he's not making any effort to move around stuff. I know he might be Batman, but come on, you've got to be realistic about this. Oh, is this, um, yeah, brilliant. See, this is Bruce Brothers. This is one of the best car chases. This is absolutely fantastic. What? What did I do? You failed to stop in a red signal. The light was yellow, sir. May I see your license, please? I mean, if you're going to stop two people at 10 o'clock at night wearing black suits and sunglasses wearing uh, little black hats, you're going to think there's some up, aren't you? Smarts. State, county, municipal, offender, data, system. It's currently wanted on warrant. We've had this so many times where, in the latter part of my career, what we'd do is we'd pull up alongside the car and tell them to turn it off and put the keys on the roof. We've had it so many times where we've stopped behind the car and we've got out when we're three quarters away to the bandit car and he's set off. We've then got to run back to our car, get him, put a seatbelt on. And every time you try to do that, you put the seatbelt on, it's clicking, it's not going all the way in. So obviously times have changed from then, but you still do it every time you, you stop a car now, you think the driver's going to be making off regardless of what you do. And he's off. That's it. The time when you someone sets off and the time you've got to run back to your car, it might only be 20 foot. But if that car's accelerating hard up to 60 miles an hour and you've got to run back to your car 10, 15 feet, get in your car, either switch it on, put your seatbelt on, then put it in the gear and set off, it makes a, makes a massive difference on the pursuit and how far that car's getting in front of you. Someone told me that that JC Penny there, whether it's true or not, is the same one that's used in Back to the Future. But just a boring little fact for you. Yeah, another thing you never get involved in when you're in a pursuit and you're going around areas, you never get involved in that chain effect where there's like three or four or five cars. Pursuing one bandit car, what you've always got to do, you've got to have probably two traffic cars chasing a bandit car and all the rest separate, get to the entrances, block the entrances off, get stingy deployed and set up blocking areas or areas you can alter the bandit cars to. there be anything else? Yes, do you have a Miss Piggy? <laughs> No, I've never done it at all, but that must be absolutely awesome to go through a, a shopping centre in a, in a police car in a police chase. Obviously, if there were no people there, it was safe to do so. Would you avoid? Do you want the truth or do you want me to lie? Or the truth. <laughs> yes, uh, it is still safe to do so. There are no civilians. Risk is low at this time. If you, had to, if you had to be in a pursuit, this is it. This is the one they had to be in. What's the driving like? <laughs> Which one? They're both, they're both, they're both shocking, or they're all shocking. It's just, it, it's just like they're driving on ice. And I think it's, you know, when they've all got those shiny tiles in, in, and you, you struggle to keep up in normal trainers or shoes, let alone on a, in a car, it's just gonna go everywhere. <laughs> Can't get a grip on it, it's wheel spinning all the time. Burnouts. Every time the police car's involved in a, an accident, 
or it's involved in something where it makes contact with another vehicle or members of public or property. There's so many forms to fill in, sign it's got to come out, the car's got to go off and be checked. It's an absolute barn's ass with a job. That's why your car never makes contact with anything else. I, I, I don't know if it's our culture. When I say our culture, I mean the UK, the, the police culture, now we've been taught to do things. But everything I've always seen in TV land, America, their driving and pursuits are completely different to ours. It's like they just follow, they don't have a sort of like a contingency plan where as soon as we set off in a pursuit, our pursuit is thinking about how it's going to end, what we're going to do to contain the vehicle, how we're going to put it to a safe stop. It just seems like in America, all they do is just get on back and... I've seen it before where they're chasing someone down a freeway and the car's going like 60 miles an hour and that's it, but they must have 20, 30 police cars just behind it. It's like you're trailing, you're following, you're not doing anything proactive. You need to be getting cars in front, you need to be blocking off roads. I've never seen anything where they get in front and put some tactics in place. It's always to do with like either getting behind it, pitting it or making it stop that way and drawing your firearms. Where we're all the way around, we will put a plan in place, get the plan worked out, structured, and then get the vehicle boxed stung or make tactical contact where it's needed would rather smash one car up. Do you think if that was a real chase in the UK, police would have aborted? Yeah, I think if that were a real uh, chase in the UK, I think police would have bought it a long time ago. I think they'd be dragged over calls, they'd be disciplined, they'd probably kicked out of traffic and kicked out of force. They're willing to risk one or two police cars to put something in bed to make it safe for members of the public. But what they don't want to do, they don't want to involve 15, 20 members of the public, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of damage on people's houses, gardens and other people's property, it just won't happen like that. If there's a risk, a high risk, we're just a bar and we won't, we won't continue with any sort of pursuit at all. With Lord's Patient Channel, if you want to help out, please see the link below. Thank you.